What's up? I'm Corey Towns from Cashes, and I'm going to take you on a tour of the hottest cities in the country from a local's perspective. This is Lit City, Brooklyn, New York. So we're here in Brooklyn, New York in the Crown Heights neighborhood. For the first spot of the day, they just opened the doors up for us, and it's one of my personal favorites. Where it is, they have one of the best crab rolls in the city. Welcome to the Krabby Shack. Our crab legs, basically we have our special, uh, our special sauce. Okay. All right. It's the secret stuff. Secret sauce. Secret stuff. We're not going to get this anywhere. We'll, we'll, we'll show you a couple things that go in there. Okay. So, um, we got some lemon lemon juice because you know that okay. uh, lemon and seafood is a, a must. Some garlic in there. Okay. And we left some old bay in our food. So the next step is to take our crab legs. Put a nice little cluster. Nice little right bag. There. Yeah, good good cluster. And what we do it around. Make okay. sure all that yummy sauce is soaked up on those crab legs. Oh man. I hope you, this is amazing. I hope you guys, I know you guys can't some smell of, this. Some of the other people, you know, they'll steam it, take it from okay. the steamer, give you, you know, fake butter and say, We okay, don't do fake butter here at the Crabby Shack. No fake no, butter. No, it's real butter here. Let's try this out. Okay. <laughs> okay. So as far as being, um, you know, black business owners, but more than that, black women business owners, where do you kind of see the future of Krabby Shack going? This whole concept was created so that we could expand. Okay. We gave the whole place a vibe. So you feel like you're being taken away, transported to a beach location. Mm -hmm. And uh, that beach location could be in Nantucket. That beach location could be in Atlanta. And so um, the whole idea is for us to expand. Well, listen, I can say once again, as a, as a regular patron here, and even just meeting you, you lovely ladies, um, you guys are doing a wonderful job for the community, and thank you. Um, I'm going to get into these crabs because I've kind of focused on this. I'm going to get here. Um, thank you. Take Cheers. It out the bag. Cheers. Yeah, we're going to take this out the bag. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> There's nothing quite like a Brooklyn summer. But as hot as things can get, sometimes you want to cool down a little bit. What better place than to bring the fire desserts with the refreshing drinks? Welcome to Butter and Scotch. Hello. Well, hello there. How you doing today? I'm Corey. Hey, I'm Kevy. I'm owner of Butter and Scotch. All right, so I've heard a lot about this place. Yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> can you show me around? Absolutely. Come on back to right. the game. We opened Butter and Scotch two and a half years ago, and we've slowly evolved. It's a bar and bakery okay. in Crown Heights. Um, we both owned uh, dessert companies before we came together. My business partner is Allison. We both just wanted to do something, but we wanted to do something a little different than just your typical bakery. We're the place that you can go once you're done with dinner and want that final sweet and nightcap, <laughs> but you want to go somewhere that's a little bit more fun than the white tablecloth yeah. that you're sitting at. So this is you definitely know? A, a lively establishment, oh, I must say so myself. It is very lively. <laughs> and actually, the reason that we're calling this cake the Hotline Bling Cake, mm. I mean, despite the gold sprinkles we that got we the put all the blinkles, we got the blinkles, um, is that I think that song might have played every single night for the first <laughs> two years of, of Butter and Scotch's life. And so nice. it's very, very inner brains. Nice. So this is the hotline bling. This is the hotline bling, and now we get to. We gotta, we gotta try it. We got, you know what? Taste testing is really important. This is, this is the hardest part of the job. <laughs> yeah. All right, cheers. Cheers. Boop. Mhm. Mm That's a dense cake. Mm. <laughs> You're going to bed by the time you get a like this. This is amazing. That's why we're towards the end of the night. We stop at the end of the night. And this is why you come here for the nightcap. Exactly. A nice refreshing drink. Mm -hmm. 
a slice of the hotline bling. Mm -hmm. For someone who's been in Brooklyn for so long, you know, where do you see Brooklyn going in the future? Where do I see? I mean, I think, you know, just get yeah, more, more fun places mm -hmm. opening. <laughs> more, more, more drink places, more dessert places, more butter and scotches. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, I think Brooklyn can only get better. Better from you here. Know, So here at Lit City Brooklyn, you know we got to keep you fresh. Out here in Bed-Stuy, the fresh done found us. Welcome to the Bar Boutique. How you doing? I'm great, man. Corey, Quan. Nice to meet you, bro. Welcome to the Bar Boutique. Thank you for having me. So, tell me, like, this is dope. Like, this is, this is your spot? Yes, this is my establishment. Okay. I opened it up over four years ago. Okay. You know, the reason I opened it up because I was downtown Brooklyn working at a store called Swagger 360. Okay. It was closed down due to um, Barclays coming up. It was okay. a $4,000 a month rent. It went up to $10,000. Wow. And, you know, we got pushed out. We couldn't afford $10,000. All because of the stadium thing? All because of the stadium. Wow. So, um, I had a barber shop next door. Okay. The space came available. A church left that was once here, went down south. I approached the landlord, asked for the space, he gave me the space, and here we are. So this was a, a church one. Yeah. That's divine intervention. Man. Absolutely. That's a blessing, bro. I'm glad everything worked out. Why did you choose Best Style? I mean, I'm from Best Style. I'm actually no. from the projects up the street. I grew up there, you know, and um, I wanted to show people where I came from that, you know, if I can make it, they can do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I give guys from the community jobs, and um, this is what we do, man. We, we're giving back to the community, and we're trying to Increase our brand. Already. What you looking for here today? Um, I mean, yo, man, give me fresh. I mean, I'm from Philly originally. You know, I live in Brooklyn, so I want I want some of that Brooklyn flavor. Okay, I want so the Brooklyn let me flag. let me show you how we do a Brooklyn style. So owning a boutique line does that offer a lot of creativity when it comes to your piece and stuff like that? Absolutely, because you get to do what you want to do and you put people in what you feel is for sure. So we flop. Like, see what I have. <laughs> I got the hat with the shirt and all that. Yeah, this is what we do. That's dope. Welcome to BK9, one of the best hot spots here of West Indian culture and West Indian cuisine. One of the best things that makes BK the cultural hot spot that it is, is through its food. Let's go check it out. BK9 is not guys out of Brooklyn. We have a mixture of Jamaican, Trinidadian, and um, Haitian. The thing is we wanted to give a place that anybody from the Caribbean hmm. will walk in here and say, oh, this is home. I hmm. feel comfortable. This is what my mother makes. Brooklyn is, you know, Caribbean. Absolutely. That's a home of the Caribbean Day Labor Day Parade. Absolutely. Where all the Caribbean islands come together and have this great parade. I was recommended the dish. It's called Port Rio. Grillo. Pork grillo. Right. Okay, if I say it, I gotta say it right. Right. Um, how about we get in the kitchen? You gotta show me how you make that? Definitely, we'd love to do that. Let's do it. Pork grillo. Right? Yes. I'm saying it right. Okay. Well, you're saying it right. So if I had one bite, what am I getting on one bite? Well, let me tell you. First of all, I'd like for you to take some of the pickles and okay. pour it, put it on the grill. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so. <laughs> so the pickles. <laughs> okay, this, this is not this is not fake. Okay, so the pickles. Got a cake? The pickles got some kick. The two John John. People call it dirty rice, but we call it G John John. This is what. And this with the mushrooms? With the mushrooms, okay. dry mushrooms. Oh, first bite, that might be some of the best rice I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Thank you for that having me, man. This is amazing. BK9, some of the best West Indian food I've had in Brooklyn. So Brooklyn wouldn't be a lit city if we didn't find a place to party. Behind these doors right here is the best kept secret in Brooklyn. Welcome to the Paper Box. Paper Box came about when Eric decided that he wanted to quit his nine to five and play music full time. Eric is... The owner and my father. <laughs> <laughs> Initially, it was just a live music performance space. Eric mm -hmm. had the idea that he wanted to host bands every okay. weekend. It was because he's into music. He taught himself how to play guitar. He mm -hmm. quit his nine to five to do his own thing. So. And um, 
that's initially how the idea came about. He had a music studio in Greenpoint. He wanted to merge the two, so he kind of okay. had to find a space big enough to do both. Since the scene has evolved, live music <laughs> in this area is kind of dying. They don't really bring out the crowds that they used to, mm -hmm. so we had to change with the scene. So what's it like running a performance venue as a family business? Um, it's not easy. It's mm. fun. Um, it's hard. Um, <laughs> working with family is never easy, mm -hmm. but um, in this I'm lucky that it's this, that mm. it's a performance space that I can be around. Um, so many cool people, so many diverse things happening. We've mm. had so many different types of events. We even host weddings here. Um, wow. So it's like, this there's is, never- this is quite a, a backdrop to have a wedding. Yes. <laughs> Why East Williamsburg? Why Bushwick? Why Brooklyn? We were living in Williamsburg right before it turned into what it is. His music studio was in Greenpoint and mm -hmm. we wanted something close. This seemed like the best area at the time. It was super dead, just warehouses. We could have yes. as loud of a party as we wanted without anybody complaining about mm -hmm. it. All right, so we took you to the hot food, the hot fun, and the hot fashion. It's very clear that Brooklyn is a borough in New York City that has something for everybody. My name is Corey Towns, and until next time, this is Lit City. Thank <laughs> you.